hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be trying some portuguese pastry for the first time so um I, I for, for two of these pastry i have tried and i like so i didn't bother to try any other pastry so i am definitely knew what this this thing it's called you know what let me say my grace and let me tell you people i haven't been living on these things because i am not a pastry person but for the sake of television i am trying i'm just trying them so i'm gonna give you the name i don't know the english name for it but i'm gonna tell you what i see and then so i'm just gonna say my grace quickly and get it in because i i warm them in the microwave just for a few seconds i don't want them to get back cold again before i taste them so let me just say my grace amen so this to me it looked like a donut to me even though it don't have a hole it looked like a donut um it's it's um Masa, masala das masa no malas malasa dash malasa dash and me, me, um mm, malasa dash um It's um, it's just like a donut. It tastes like a fried dumpling with sugar. I don't think most of this pastry have a lot of sugar. Um. This one I tried before. It's called Kejo. Kejida. It's called Kejida. Um, what I liked about it, we always we general um we have this. We have it with our coffee or tea. If you go for the sit in the coffee bar and you wanna just sit and have some coffee and talk. This is a, one of the things I always get because of the the flakes. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, because of the flakes. It reminds me of patty. The flakes, just the flakes part remind me of patty back home. But this part now is like... So the inside... Tastes like caramel pudding. The inside tastes like caramel pudding. The inside tastes like caramel pudding and then the flakes on the outside. So that's what that is tastes like. So because it named Kijeda. I know it has something to do with cheese, cash. It has something to do with cash, cash. Um, this one, Patash de Vido, Patash de Vido, um, a. Uh, Patash, Patash, the V, the, the V though. So, um, from the looks of it, it have coconut flakes, and um, I don't know what else.
this is not so sweet you see how sweet it looks it's definitely not sweet and the coconut flakes have a lot to do with the taste um, the spongy part I would say like a bread like a sweet bread but I'll not not yes yeah, like maybe um but I just get a whiff of egg just now that's a bit turn off I realize with um this pastry they use egg and the egg smell and I hate to put something try to eat something and the egg gonna smell um this <clears throat> I don't know what this this is um pastel natash pastel natash is um Okay, so I'm going to show you what the, the inside, it is flaky just like the other one, but um, this one have a soft filling on the inside and this now is like cornmeal porridge. So this have the consistency of cornmeal porridge, this have the consistency of cornmeal pudding. So that's what that and this is a star at the show this is the one that I get it's called canela and the reason why I get this one I know canela is um cinnamon in English and it looks like a twist donut so I said let me try it one day and I try it and men oh men this thing is delicious well i don't know if because it's a canela and if i try to have this without warming it in the microwave i'm not gonna like it i don't know if you remember sugar bun yeah you know sugar bun in jamaica right this tastes like sugar bun i don't know if it's because it's a familiar taste why i stick to this so Sometimes I will just like when I I go out with my sister in laws and then we're gonna sit down for a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I would get this or this. These are the two things I, I would get. Either or either or. So if they don't have this one, I'll get this one. So you just have because you, you we do coffee break really often and sometimes I just have some tea. Because, um, I think this is the only island in Europe that produces um, a quantity that kind of green tea. Mm. So, this is the only island or uh, only place in Europe that produce a particular kind of green tea you have it in the black you have it in green so this is called chaverd um it's called chaverd and the verd mean green and the sharp mean tea in 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 portuguese and then it's the name of the place is goriana so it's like a tourist attraction the um the goriana place is a tourist attraction where people from all over Europe or wherever come and watch the process of them making from the picking, the harvesting to the production process of this tea. This tea is really nice and um, I was told it's the better tasting tea all over Europe. So this is where this tea this is where this island is where it is produced and it's a very good tea i i rather enjoy it and i don't have sugar whenever i'm having this tea and it's cost efficient it's not too expensive it's very cheap 
Yeah. But this is a style show. This is a book. I already went out for lunch today, so um, I just want to show you guys a few, a few, because this, they, this place, they do fresh pastries every day, because the coffee shop, a lot of bar and coffee shop, a whole lot in this place, it just, you, because the, the people here drink tea a lot. They go on the road, the first thing they do is stop and have. You know what they drink a lot here? Um coffee. And it's not just coffee, it's um what do they call it? Express coffee. Express, espresso. So it's a little cup. I'm gonna show ya. So it's a little cup, this little cup, um, they put the coffee as strong as possible inside this cup and you get a little spoon and they, they put a lot of sugar in it and they drink and talk and that shit is bitter. It is bitter. I can't, I, I can't imagine having this. That's not for me. So I would generally, may I have some tea please? Not, 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 not this. Mm -mm. I tasted one time, it's horrible. It is horrible. I don't know. I think people are addicted to this shit because I can't imagine people drinking this shit. It's horrible. Trust me, the coffee is just bitter. And even if you put a whole gallon of sugar, it's gonna be bitter because the coffee is really strong. They make it very very strong and then you just had and just get this a little bit out so you know and it's a pastime for everyone everywhere on the island you can get this and with this you get a whole lot of pastry fresh pastry that is made every day or you just go and um and you buy your pastry but i am not a pastry kind of girl i um mm -mm. The business would close if it was for me. I am not a pastry kind of girl. Trust me, some business would definitely close if I was the one supporting. Because I wouldn't be buying pastry like that. Well, maybe it depends on where you were born. If I was born here, maybe it would be... It wouldn't be anything major for me. It would be just a norm. So anyway, guys. I don't know if you're going to enjoy this video. But. At the end of the day. I'm going to ask you to live, love and laugh. Enjoy your day. Don't let anybody steal your, steal your joy. Whether your day going the way you want it or not. Nobody can steal your joy unless you allow them to steal your joy. So, <clears throat> I'm going to put these back because I'm not going to have them. <clears throat> because if I have a piece of everything, uh, that's one too many sugar inside my system. And I am not a vlogger, but I do a video. <clears throat> I do a, a little short video about where I went today. So it might you might see that video before this one. Or uh, this one before because I don't know which one I'm gonna put first. So <coughs> you may come on to that video. This thing tastes just like caramel pudding with your crust outside. <laughs> mm. Oh, you know, they have coconut inside too. Mm hmm. You have coconut, I can taste coconut inside. Maybe that's why I like it. It reminds me of home. So, you know, you use the coconut. So, yes, guys, live, love, and laugh. Don't let anybody steal your joy. 
good morning good afternoon and good night and pay it forward always remember to pay it forward one good favor deserve another somebody do something good for you it's okay for you to do something good for somebody else you pass the love around encourage each other enjoy your day have a lovely